Coming up next time on Connections is writer Nita Clark, who in a previous life worked as a talk radio announcer. Clark is a native of the bayous of Louisiana and is a Vietnam-era veteran, where she served in the U.S. Navy as a military journalist. Her favorite pastime is writing, writing, and more writing. And you do it very well, Miss Nita Clark. Oh, thank you so much, Renee. I We're appreciate that. so glad to have this conversation, not just about your, the works that you've already written and published, but your new effort that's coming out as an, as an ode and as a... Mm -hmm. an homage to, mm -hmm. to veterans. Tell us about that. Actually, it's uh, Gracie Mae Publications, which is mine and my daughter-in-law, my mm -hmm. business partner, Stephanie's uh, first uh, go at it, actually, uh -huh. uh, A Veteran's Legacy. And the artwork was beautifully done by Jay McCord, of course, council member here, second district in Lexington. And uh, it is a veteran's legacy. Yeah. It is something that uh, veterans can leave to their families or that families can actually husbands, wives, you know, whomever, can write the story of their veteran. Yeah, and, and you write nice stories, fun stories, not fun as stories. heavy as what we just discussed. No, not at all. Why is writing uh, such a passion for you? The imagination. I think being an only child until I was 15 years old and creating all of these imaginary friends mm -hmm. of mine and having them do imaginary things and uh, uh, humor. There was a lot of humor when I was growing up, you yeah. know, some of the uh, very intense and serious things that went on in the 60s, you know, we, we sort of um, clouded that out with humor. So the imagination and the humor one day just hit the pen and the paper and I just went to town. And yeah, and you got some books to just show us exactly how well you are yeah. at doing that. And so we'll talk more about <laughs> that. You. Learn more about Miss Nita Clark and also a local quilter named Sally Johnson. She's got some great works of art that we can't wait to share with you next time on Connections, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday Day at 1.30 on KET. Watch us online anytime, KET.org slash connections.